Mabuhay to Susan's home cook. Um, I'm back for, well, I have to cook the, oh wait a minute, I have to shout out my um, niece in Arizona. Thank you for supporting my, my video and subscribing. And also I have a niece that I forgot to mention last, uh, my last video I had. Uh, my niece in UAE, Dubai, thank you for supporting and subscribing in my video channel. And also, my niece in Los Angeles that requested the Ube Halaya recipe, the purple yam recipe. Thank you for requesting that. It gives me uh, really inspiration to cook something that I already know. I've been cooking this for like many years. And today... I'm going to make, uh, I'm going to bake the leche flan. Uh, someone, Stephanie, requested this, so I'm going to bake this for her. And I, it's really inspired me, Stephanie, thank you. And bless your heart, as you mentioned, you are diabetic. Well, you have to follow what your uh, physician requests you for, request for you to whatever diet you should follow, okay? This one has a sugar and um, you have to uh, modify if you want to make this, okay? And now I'm going to start with uh, 10 egg yolks. I don't include the egg whites on this because this is creamy leche flan. My mom always make this ever since I'm young, so I'm going to make this 10 uh, egg yolk and one can of sweetened uh, milk, condensed milk, and one can of uh, evaporated milk. And uh, sometimes I add two two tablespoon sugar and um, a zest lemon zest a little bit like a teaspoon or half teaspoon and and a half teaspoon of, of uh, lemon juice and first of all I am going to make a cup of sugar a caramel because this is a caramel custard Okay, and then um, uh, four tablespoon of water. Okay, this is one cup of sugar for caramel, caramel, caramelization. And uh, uh, don't follow me, please. I'm going to tell them. Okay. Four tablespoon sugar. This is four tablespoon sugar. And you have to caramelize that and let it bubble before you you stir it. Can you focus on this one? See? Oh, it's in the low. It has to be in the medium heat. Now, while waiting for that, I already boiled a water for my baking. I have to show you later why I need this because this is going to be, I'm going to bake this like a bath bake. It's like making a cheese cake. You have to put them in a small cookie sheets like this when you bake and pour water, boiling water on it before baking, when, while baking, okay? Um, I have to see if this is, okay. Now, I'm going to pour this mixture here. Oh no, it's a condensed milk, not the mixture. I have to mix this now. This is a creamy custard. Very rich. 
and the evaporated milk, one whole can. Uh -huh. And vanilla. This is half teaspoon. And then you just mix it and wait a minute. I need to. Okay, this is almost like. When this turns into brown, I don't really stir them, I just swirl them like this. Okay. I have to break the whole egg yolk. And what I've learned from my mom is you have to steer this in one direction like this to avoid bubbles. I already preheated my oven 325 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, I have to check my caramel. Okay, this is two tablespoons sugar. I add sugar so it's a little bit sweet. Okay, whoa! Sorry, <laughs> I was watching the <laughs> my caramelization. I'm watching. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to uh, add the. Uh, the zest, lemon zest. And then I will add a little juice, lemon juice. It's up to you how much do you want. Half a lemon is fine or not so much. It's up to you. Okay. Just to balance the sweetness of this, you know. You need a little bit tart. Oh, oh my my it's almost brown that's all I have okay all the ingredients is here now it's really easy I just put add one tablespoon of sugar actually 
because I don't want it too sweet. The caramel is already sweet. taking so long there's two ways of doing the caramel you can just put sugar on the pan without the the water and it just turn into brown caramel pour it on the bottom of the pan that you're make uh, using this the sugar uh, the water if you add water on the sugar it takes a long time Okay, you can, yeah. Okay, guys, I'll come back later. Okay, guys, I'm back. This is my caramel. And uh, I'm going to put it in, in my... And the pan that I'm going to use here. Okay, I have to um, soak this with water. So it's hard to. Oh my God! This is still cooking. My 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 sugar is still cooking. I need to. I don't want them to burn. This is a, a water to stop cooking. The sugar will stop cooking. Okay. I have to let it sit for cool down for like Ten minutes. Yeah, it will cool down because I put the cold water right now. Okay, I'll see you later. Hi guys, I'm back. Now I'm going to show you uh, the caramel at the bottom of the pan. And then, uh, salamat sa panunood, okay? Mga Filipinos up there. Okay, now I'm going to strain this. Can you come closer? Please. This, I'm going to strain. And that's already, like, the caramel is already, re it's hard, you know? You have to do that. You make it hard uh, before you pour the, the mix mixture. Oh, this one is really enough for one one pan. I thought I need two pans. Okay, this is cool. There you go. Okay, so I'm just gonna bake one. Put it in the middle. Now I have to well, let me wash my hands because I touch that. Okay, um I'm going to bake this now. I have to put it in a cookie sheet. Okay, and now I have to pour this. This is baking. It's like it's called butt baking. I have to pour this in the cookie sheets. This is how you cook uh, cheesecake too. Okay.
that's a fan bake. Oh, three twenty-five. Okay. I hope Stephanie will learn to cook this leche. Okay, this is Dave. Say hi. Hello. <laughs> Say hi to Dalo, Dave, my husband. Uh, ah, okay. kumusta, Edlo Nimo? No, kumusta kamong kayong lahat, kayong lahat. It's in, oh, in, yeah. in, in Tagalog. Because everybody doesn't understand this science. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Bye guys. I'll show you when I when I'm done baking with my uh, caramel custard or how you call it leche flan. Hi guys, I'm back. I'm here baking my um, leche flan, and I covered it with the aluminum foil because it's hard to brown on the top, so I have to cover it now. I need to check if it is cooked. It's been one hour and 45 minutes. This is like a, a baking, base baking. So you have to check in your toothpick if it is nothing sticks in the middle, then that is cook. Okay, ow, ay, 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 ow, okay. There, see, there's nothing. Oh, oh, okay. I have to fix this. <laughs> oh, oh my God! It came off the 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 rack. Okay, hon. I'm gonna need a help. Okay, never mind. No, I don't. Um, this is good. I'm just gonna get this. Uh, mm -hmm. There. I'm going to that's good okay now I have to fill up another water on this so it's like twice I fill it up once and then twice you know so it's good when it's baking because you can really bake and also even if you don't bath bake this, you can uh, steam it. There's two ways you can cook leche flan, a custard caramel. Bake and steam. I'll show you the, the I have to chill this leche flan or I can um, on the side so it's easier for me to remove it later on i can oh, i need a smaller or i can use this i can do this on the side so later oops it's still really warm so it's easier for me to transfer later on on the because you have to do this upside down you know so, it's easier to remove it from the pan. See? Mm. Maybe I'm going to do this now. Or the easiest way is to do it when it is chilled. But you do this first before it chilled. Okay? And this is very easy when you... Flip it, you flip it like this. Huh? You watch it, okay? One, two, three. Boom. There. And see that? Wow. Hmm. That's the finished product of the leche flan. Yeah. Oh, oh, I spilled it. <laughs> I spilled a lot of juice. Oh my god, see? But it's okay. <laughs> I spilled it, I was not. Well, I'll clean this. Okay, there you go. This is still really warm. It's nice to eat this when it is cold. Cooler, you know, when you chill it. 
Okay. It's a mess, but it's okay. That's all. Always home cooking is like this. There is no perfect cooking. You know, it's always gonna be a mess, and, and that's fine. Okay. Tomorrow I'll try this. Hmm. Oh my god! I wanna lick my finger with the caramel. <gasps> okay. <laughs> I'll show you tomorrow, guys, when it is cooler, or maybe I can show it, but it's still really warm. Uh, maybe I can just cut it into pieces, okay? I'll cut a little piece, okay? Cut a little piece. I can't wait to... We'll see. If it is not perfect, oh my god, it's still warm, really warm. spoon I don't have a tiny spoon so I'm going to use my soup spoon uh oh mm. that's hot but it's good you want to try it It's still warm, but it tastes good. It's not too sweet. I only put one tablespoon sugar and one can of condensed milk. <laughs> Something in my mouth. Bye guys, I hope you like this recipe and try it, please. Next time I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make the this is kind of really um creamy rich next time i'm going to make not the rich one i wanna i don't want to waste the egg white so okay guys see you next time bye and thank you for watching maraming maraming salamat sa pag panood nyo ng aking video to all filipinos and thank you, Stephanie, for requesting this. It gives me inspiration to bake another, di um, um, another dish <laughs> or dessert. 